Which I just realized is my hand has a vein in it. Oh, yeah. Multiple veins. Your hand don't have veins in it, Steve? Hey, this one, you can see it. See, like that. Yeah. It's like right there. This hand is not so much, because I don't use my left hand as very often. You got to start. Never mind. PG-13. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is I need to swap to the stranger. Yes. <laughs> okay. Anyways. <laughs> Listen to our brand look with the key chest. My name's Steve. Wait, taking a picture, Steve. My name's Arnaz. Faster, we gotta get this video done. I, I don't know about you, but I'm sick and tired of doing monkeys. Can we do We've something? We've done else? a lot of monkeys lately. <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyways, uh, we're gonna be going over the McFarlane's Raw 10 Saigor. There is three other figures of these. There's the Shark Frenzy, there's the Cobra, and Raptor. Um, At least this monkey looks like Jax from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> right. Um, decided to grab this one. Uh, as of right now, um, I know I can go get the rest of them. If they're their payday, maybe. We'll see after we get this one. Because I definitely wanted him because of Spawn. Yeah. Like, this is literally just a Spawn villain. He'd look cool with the customs I've done. But the question is, like, do you need the whole Raw 10 collection, like, as it is? Um, you know. for me, I feel like this is the centerpiece. Like, I think the shark's probably the coolest one. Yeah, that's to be I'm... fair. But I think as someone that likes Spawn, this is the one. Like, the reason why you're gonna get into the line, and then you'd be like, "Oh, this is kind of cool. I'll grab the rest of them." Yeah, if I could grab two, I think mine two would be the shark and the cobra, just because, just based on the looks slowly. Yeah, the cobras like they all look cool. It's just like the raptor has a <clears throat> weird pose. We'll say that. Yeah, it's fine. Like. That's like the thing with McFarlane figures for the most part. Like, this is very, like, traditional McFarlane where it's kind of meant to be in one pose. I'm okay they with They give that. you articulation, but it's meant to be in a pose. I'm okay with that, but, like, I just don't like the whole biting your, chasing your own tail pose for that. Why not? You got them just spinning around in circles? Be great. Reminds you of a doggy. No. But anyways, without further ado for the package, you have Sagor Rory on the bottom, Raw Ten Sagor. You get to see the figure. Also looks like he comes with like a little card or something back there. We'll check that out. Overall, very white packaging, some yellow on the back, more of the same. Roaring, Sagor, more Sagor. On uh, the back of the package, um, Sagor is the pinnacle of the robotic animal weapon lab sites. So that's what the raw means. Means what? Robotic animal weapon. Huh. He is the perfect combination of beast and machine designed as a test subject for Raw's newest cybernetic enhancements. Saigor exceeds his potential to become Raw's greatest success. His proof strength is augmented with, there's a nap, with uh, metallic muscles and his intellect instincts and reflexes are perfectly tuned with his built-in combat matrix. He was created to be a next-gen warrior. Now the perfect weapon is on the loose and out of control. Species Silverback Gorilla, Attack, Power Slam, Monkey Punch, and Rage Attack. I want a Monkey Punch. I was going to say Monkey Punch. Oh, if they have a donkey, it'll be donkey <laughs> Rule punch, number right? one, I rule. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it has the other guys in the line on the back here. To me, I think the snake's probably the most boring looking. What? That's the one I actually like out of the small two. But it's like it's like what I expect to see. No, at least pose wise. The entire bottom is actually metal of the snake. Come on, that's the cool thing. Anyways, leave him up and jump on the bottom. Let's get him open up out of his cardboard prison. All right, so we got Saigor open up out of his cardboard prison. First and foremost, zero count them. Zero accessories for this one. Oh, sounds like a previous gorilla we did a review for. That is true, but on a high note, he doesn't have, if he had accessories, if I can pose them, he doesn't have any way of actually holding on to them to begin with. Actually, you know what? He comes with a pair of guns. You know what? In all reality, at welcome this, to the gun show. At least this gorilla's belly button's kind of in the right spot. <laughs> right there. It makes more sense because if he had proper anatomy, it'd be kind of hidden anyways. Uh, oh, a sad, bulge there. I was going to say, sad day, they didn't decide the detail is, uh... <laughs> yes. <laughs> he said it, not me. But anyways, uh, since he has no accessories, let's get into his closer details. Well, this is the one thing that me and Steve had a conversation about, is his eyes. I kind of like his eyes because they're red, and I get it because it's all cybernetic thing, but Steve made great point. He really just likes his red eyes, like, just plain red eyes, right, Steve? I, they're, they're fine. 
I would have been like to be honest. I think at twenty bucks, I would have been surprised that they would have put like the minute details in like that to this. Oh come on, we need at least a pupil in there, you know, like a dot or something. Well, what would have been kind of cool if I could have had anything was him having it look like a target reticle Ooh. for the eyeball. I think that would have been kind of sweet. I mean, he has a jetpack. Why not some hidden missiles in there, right? Yeah, right. Like you use the jetpack so you could do the Iron Man fist. <laughs> right but anyways fur is closer details head sculpt actually looks really really nice uh the fur is decently detailed like for the most part a lot of his fur to be honest is kind of like the jacks or not the jacks the playmates got calm that we went over where it's not super defined but because but it's there well the thing is is because it's so like thin like there's so many indications of the hair on the head it looks fine like especially on yourself it definitely like it looks good to me. Like it's not it's not anything that um, detracts from the detailing. Because for like his arm fuzz, there's definitely a lot more harder details in it. But you don't see any area where it starts like losing the detail until you get to like the knuckle region here, which I just realized his hand has a vein in it. Oh yeah, multiple veins. Uh, for the cybernetic portion, it looks fan freaking tastic though. I was like, this like still looks really nice. Like even like the biceps got like the veins on it and He's everything. Got arm arms for sure. Let me tell you that. Oh yeah, super jacked. But I love the cybernetic part because like he has like the chest plate here, and this kind of looks like it maybe it came like broken off. Or you know, possibly. I, just, yeah, I noticed that it looks like he's being taken over by like Terminator. Yeah, kind of. That's kind of what Cyborg Cygor was. He was just like a cybernetic gorilla. But that, then again, it's also like, because this is a real arm, maybe like this needs to be exposed so this one has more flexibility. Maybe. Possibly. I did really, I just realized there's some paint scuffs here though. Ooh. On the front. Which is something to be concerned about because it is a figure that's fully exposed when you buy it. So it's kind of uh, to the elements at the store. So that is something to be considerate of. So when you're buying this, make sure to look over the figures. Uh, also for the head too, we didn't mention the teeth look great. It's got some really nice paint detailing for the teeth section. Like you can even see it like the crowns on the inside. Paint tons painted nicely. He's even got some detailing around the gums. It's got some tonsils. Like no expense spared <laughs> for the it, 20 bucks. Yeah, they they put pretty decent details in it i'll say that much at least yeah because even like the cybernetic arm looks really great where you get like all the wiring here great it might have been kind of cool to maybe see like a little more color variety because with the wires i would kind of think maybe these would be different colored yeah instead of just being all silver but i personally i think it's fine i've never seen him in a tv show the spawn if you remember the old tv show uh, I don't think Saigor was in the show. So I don't know what he's supposed to look like, to be honest with like, you. Yeah, like, I know him from the comics, and there's, like, the old toys. I do like that he's got, like, little spikes here, though, for, like, the clamp pieces. The elbow drop, man. Yeah, it's just, like, Macho Man from the top rope. Ooh, yeah, with this jetpack. <laughs> oh, he even gets a boost. Is it even a jetpack? Oh, I just realized it's, like, little faces. Oh, what the <laughs> Right? It's kind of like... You know what? That kind of looks like Spawn. It does. Look right? at the eye. That's, kinda, like the that's actually really It'll sweet. Go over his head. Yeah. Oh, I actually like that a lot. Yeah. It's got some, like, plating here. It's the kinda fuzz looks really now. nice on the... Well, I was keeping them anyways, but... <laughs> the legs look nice, too. Got a lot of the same detailing going on with the Speaking arms. A he does got a badonga He's It's got a tummy. Which makes sense, like 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 whenever you see gorillas out in the wild, they usually got a little bit of a little bit pudgy of a belly. pudgy belly, which I can appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> they make some more relatable to me. Uh, feet look nice too. I like that his toes have knuckles, <laughs> with the other feet looking good as well. Though the one thing is like this foot is definitely much larger than the real foot. Which is a little strange, but I guess it kind of makes sense. It definitely helps for the balancing. Oh, he's also got the raw on the bottom of his toes. It's kind of like he's oh. been branded. He does. And, yeah, that's pretty much it for the detailing. Overall, pretty freaking fantastic, if I do say so. Uh, first articulation, head. Can rotate Ooh. all the way around. Arms can rotate all the way around. One can. Uh, yep, Ooh. both sides. Leg can rotate all the way around. Opposite leg. 
can do the same. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Just five no points. No jaw articulation, Steve? What the hell, man? <sighs> when you know it says the shark has jaw articulation? He actually has um, a bunch of ball joints, and I realize I probably should try to buy him when I get paid. The shark? Yeah, I would. The shark um, was definitely one of the keeper ones. But for the most part, like he was the one I needed for the spawn custom, so I had to snag him. But, yeah, outside of that, not too shabby. One thing we forgot to mention with the detailing, though, is the body is a little bit of a different black than the rest of them. Yeah, legs and arms are kind of shiny. Well, even the head. Yeah. But, like, his stomach is just uh, matte gray, which I think is the only real negative. Same with on the back. So, you could definitely see the difference. But on the front, I don't think it's as egregious. Like, even worse game the worst, you could just take some Mod Podge and go over them. Yeah, that was kind of too much effort, though, to be fair. And for quick comparisons, here we have the Rotten Cygor compared next to some other spawn collectible figures, well as spawn custom figures of the Mortal Kombat spawn from McFarlane Toys, with the standard, more video game inspired one and a commando variant. And here's next to some giant Playmates Con figures with the Godzilla vs. Con Con and the Skull Island Con. And here's some other McFarlane figures with the Movie Maniacs Con 1933 and the Spawn Dark Ages Black Knight. And here is some NECA figures that we're going to be reviewing here in the near future with the Godzilla 2003 and 1989. Here's some other McFarlane figures, well, aliens to be exact, with uh, the alien and the queen alien from Alien vs. Predator. So overall for the McFarlane's Raw 10 Cygor figure, this thing is awesome. For 20 bucks, I think this is a pretty decent steal. Definitely one of the better gorilla figures we've gotten lately it's definitely the best gorilla figure i've gotten in a while yeah <laughs> outside of like the mezco con i would say but even that like for 20 bucks yeah. like he's got a nice pose granted the problem with, with um uh, more traditional mcfarlane figures which is where this guy kind of falls into because even like growing up buying them like mid 2000s uh McFarlane figures a lot of them are meant to be in a certain pose but they give you options to articulate so you can pose them if you wanted to but it doesn't it won't look quite right yeah like him i think you can do two poses both arms up and both arms down without any hindrance and that's about it yeah because then if you like want to put the arms in front of them then the way the arms line up next to the mold isn't quite right the shoulders like kind of stick out by themselves same if like you turn the head his chin like disappears yeah. so there is that so for the most part you treat this guy kind of like a statue that you can switch pose yeah like, you possibly. can sometimes move it around a little bit uh, but i think for 20 bucks and for the size that's fine yeah, because you you pay what you get for, and he's not bad for what you pay. Yeah, I think my issue is is because like this guy is meant to be, especially in the spot that's designated at. I think it's more feels like that was geared towards kids. Yeah, like this is for a younger demographic, and I think as a kid, I don't know if I would have been as excited for this. Like, granted, he looks cool, but I think because of the limited articulation. I think the playability of it, I would probably got bored with this pretty quick. I think because of the cybernetic parts as a kid, I would have loved this. Like, this would have been, like, the shit. Yeah, it was, like, a lot of, like, the more basic. Like, say, like, my Imperial Godzilla. I love yeah. my Imperial Godzilla. But as a kid, it would be, like, I'd play with them for, like, 20, 30 minutes. And then i kind of get bored because there's only so many times you can smack the toys together, you know? Yeah, I kind of <laughs> see what you mean. But I still like the cybernetic part of it. Yeah, I think it's a cool concept and definitely something that, as a collector, I can really get behind. Um, if you're wanting to buy this for your kids, like maybe get them into Spawn. Yeah. This could be a cool little entryway into Best it. Best way to get your kids into Spawn is to have them watch the animated series. Oh, we just went to the second review and I just realized there's still uh, paint from doing my customs in my nails. Yeah. <laughs> so if you guys are wondering, that's what that was. <laughs> Steve's a dirty, dirty boy. It's true. I've washed my hands so many times. It's still just there. But anyways, what do you guys think? If you guys picked up any of the Raw 10 figures, what's your favorite cybernetic animal? Or the genetic ones? Just more you think. Please let us know in the comments. We also have Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, and Facebook. Guys, like to keep up with the date with channel and donate. We greatly appreciate it. And always defeat those kaijus by hitting the like button. Subscribe and come around today. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.